Hello community, QWQ32B and a new coder. Look, on Hugging Face, I have no system prompt. We have QWQ, we have a low temperature, 15k token, top P is 0.8. So let's have this now in a controlled environment. And I have a new test. Yes, I have a new test. There is an elevator with five buttons you can press and each button does something else. And I have two trap floors, trap floor 13 and tap trap floor 22. And now the goal is to go from zero to floor number 30. And this is a not so easy mathematical task. And let's see how QWQ is. And if we can add a tool like a Python environment and then it's better. Or do I have something that is even more elegant, faster and much more beautiful? Well, welcome to this video. So as you can see, our little QWQ is syncing. It's explaining here or exploring here all the different floors. So if I go to floor seven, I have A, B, C, D. This is happening if I press the buttons. Okay, no, let's go to floor number nine. I can press button A, B, C, D. This is the action. This is the result. Those are my options. Go to floor number 19. Again, the same five buttons. Yes, you got it. And what is now the logic that QWQ performs here in front of our eyes? It is just a trial and error. So the system is just trying, okay, let's go to floor 19, floor 15, floor 23, and I press a different sequence of buttons here in the elevator. So I hope to go to floor number 30 with the least steps possible. So isn't that beautiful? And because it should be a little bit of a challenge, no? I have two trap floors. There, there's something happening, so it has to think about this. So this is not helpful, floor 20. It is now arrived at floor 20 with all the different permutation that is possible. But you see, this is not really the optimal set, no? Because what the system is doing more or less, it is just trying every combination. And if we have a real complex topic, I don't want to wait here, I don't know, five days, 10 days, half a week, no way. So. We are at floor 27. Yes, beautiful. We have been here before and we are going to floor 13 and we have A, B, C, D. Yeah, let's backtrack floor 19. Okay, we are back to floor 12. Oh, gee, we are back to floor 12. This is not good. The option of floor 25, 13, 5 and 14. So we are now floor 25. We have been here. Okay, let's go to floor number 13. Oh, we are floor 29. Now it gets interesting. Send me back to floor 15. Okay, it's dividable. Yeah, hmm, this is difficult. I need to check the rules again. So yeah, you see, this is just a simple new logic test. But oh yeah, it makes it work. It's not that easy, you know? Wait, maybe from floor 21, I should try a different sequence of bottoms. Floor 19, floor 12, floor 25. Look, this is now the sequence. Oh, this is a long sequence. Yeah, no, it's too long. No, it's still a shorter way. Okay, let's assume we are at floor number five. Now let's go to floor number four and try there the different varieties of the button we can press here. Where would we go? Start again at floor number six. My goodness, why are we moving back to floor number six? This is real time, this is real speed. You see me here trying to talk and think and whatever. Floor nine available buttons, A, B, C, D, E. This is nice, so it knows exactly what would happen if it would be at floor number nine, now it's positioning itself at floor 19. Oh gee, it's not finding here a solution. Oh yeah, all the available bottoms, but you see exactly what the AI is doing. And this is so beautiful compared to OpenAI O1. Now we are at floor 25. Yeah, it is not an easy life for such a beautiful AI system. It has to do here and find a solution here as a language model. My goodness, if there would only be a better and faster solution. Well, wait for part two of this video and you will be surprised. So yeah, short annotation. Yeah, short annotation is definitely the way to go. Yep. Yeah, accelerate. Come on. We already have 18,000 token. Yep. 18,500 token. I tell you what, we will reach 30,000 token. Yes, because it is sinking. And you see, this is when an LLM is sinking. It takes time, but will it be able to generate at least one valid solution? Is an AI model that is only thinking here in our language able? And it sounds like those are sorts a human could have, no? Is it able to find at least one solution to the problem? 
Hey, we are down to a seven button press. This is cool. So we are now optimizing here. Hey, look at this. No weight from floor number nine. Press D, then A, then B, and then D. And this is floor nine. So there's an alternative. I can find a shorter path. Let's start again at floor zero. No, not again at floor zero. Okay, we started floor zero. And then we have here, yeah, it's a much shorter notation. So this is much faster. Three additional presses. Okay, this is a new sequence, as you can discover. And you say, where's the artificial intelligence? Because this is what a human can do if you give him, uh, I don't know, two hours time. Yeah? Move down seven floors, move up a multiple of three. Oh yeah, it was a little bit challenging in my instruction here to this particular test. It took me almost an hour to design this test. So yeah, this should be a nice challenge. I need a better approach, tells us QWQ. Maybe I should focus getting to a floor where I can directly press a button to floor 13 without triggering the sandbag rule. From floor number 29, this would be good. So it goes now and takes them from bottom down and a different approach. Hey, we are down to a seven button press. This is cool, okay. Is there any way I can find less than seven buttons? This is again nine. Okay, we are stuck at the floor 21. Press C, floor 14. My goodness, I never thought that he would really go here through each and every possible solution. But this is nice. This is absolutely nice as a language model. And yes, we have a better solution coming up, of course. You know, the solution will be done in less than one second. Yes, I know, yep. And some of you told me, hey, you know what? You did not increase the temperature in your last video because it was at the original QVAN website. So now I uploaded it here on Hugging Face and now we have, since it's open source, I can now exactly position the temperature because some of my inscriber told me, you know, you have to increase the temperature of the model so that it is not so pure restricted, but it can develop your creativity. Okay, we're gonna test this out in a minute. If there, if the system needs creativity to come to a solution much faster. But as you can see, we are still here in the first run. We are now, I don't know, half an hour in, maybe two days in. Yes, we are at 22,000 tokens. Yeah, next multiple of three. Okay, moves up the floor, then choose 29 with bottom A. So the path is now, this is now our path structure. And look, it found a solution, goal reached. But you know what? There's another one, because now we increase the temperature. You see, temperature goes up 1.5. My goodness, and we have the same test. And now let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening now. I got to solve this riddle, okay, I'm trapped in a skyscraper with a really quirky elevator system and I need to get from the ground floor to floor 30. There are five different elevator buttons I have to press and these are their function, A, B, C, D, E. And there are two trap floors, floor 13 and floor 22. My goal is to find the shortest sequence of button presses to reach floor 13, keeping track of my movement. I think the bestest approach is he a BFS to find a minimal sequence in a graph sector, yes. So you see, yeah, there is, there is more intelligence coming through, more creativity, maybe. But is this creativity good or is this creativity bad for an LLM? We will know in less than a minute. So, as you can see, it's developing our path since we are here now on a graph structure. We have a little bit of a new notation. Yeah, the system is sinking again, sinking again. Consider going to six first. Now at floor six, now we have the same five buttons. Look, and it's now testing out if it would be at floor six. What would, if it presses each button now in a sequence, what would happen? Invalid statement, no, there's a trap now. Going back to floor seven. At floor seven, what happens if I press A, B, C, D, E at the floor seven? My goodness, it gets boring. Where's the intelligence? Where is the intelligence, AI? Puff so far, okay. Yep, those are the paths. Yeah, so invalid. No. Ah. What? Floor 31? No, there's no floor 31. The building only has 30 floors. Yes. <laughs> okay, we are still working on it. Yeah, we are still working. The temperature is increased to 1.5 degrees Celsius. We are now in pure climate change condition. So what is happening? Six button presses. 
Wow, down to six button presses. This is this is impressive. For seven, okay. But you see the intelligence that is now hidden in here, or this visible normally is hidden, is you see it is just trying to find a solution. And luckily, I put your max tokens to fifteen thousand, because now we crash fifteen thousand tokens, and this is it. But do we have a solution? Look. When I press A from 15, it went to 31, which might be adjusted to 30. Uh-oh, no. This is too much creativity. No, no, this is too much creativity. No, 31 is not 30. And you know what? It forgot a half of a rule. Because there's a particular rule that says it goes down to N half. And it forgot to apply a rule. This is a failure. So the temperature? No way. But you know what? Let me have a look. Let me have a look now at something else. We go back to a low temperature. And we have this now. And now, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to put in now something. Output a complete code and run it in Python. So what's going to happen now? QWQ32 comes back and says, OK, first I need to understand here the functionality of each button. It goes, so what is it doing? Bottom A, B, C, D, E clearly repeats their two trap floors. Okay, we go with BFS search here on a tree structure. Yes. Yeah, now it starts to build code. You see, it's it's language and code. Yeah, it gets more and more to code. You need to create a function to check back if the number is prime, since button C involves landing on a prime floor. Let's start with defining the prime check functions. Now define the transition function for each button. Yep. But in EC, yeah, now I need to ensure that the new floor doesn't exceed the building's floor going below zero. Yeah, absolutely. Boundary condition. I need to handle the trap floors. Yes. I need to integrate these rules now in the transition function. Now a BFS from zero to 30. Yes. I need to define the prime function, the transition function, the graph modeling, the BFS implementation. And let's start coding. Final solution to solve this problem. Here we go. Model the problem as a graph. Implement transition function. Handle the trap floors. Use BFS as the shortest path methodology. And here's now the Python code. Do you see this? Is this beautiful? I was missing this in my last video. I just have to say, hey, write a Python code. And QWQ, being as intelligent as it is, finds a solution and then implements the solution in a new code base. Look pure Python code. But you remember last time the Python code was not working. So I take you, uh, you now you are bad. Do you think it will work this time? Look, even an explanation. Prime check function, button transition function, neighbor function, BFS implementation, path reconstruction, efficiently find the so short sequences. Now is the moment. This Python code. Is it a valid Python code? Gee, today is December the 1st, so Christmas is coming. So let's put this here in a simple collab notebook. It just makes string copy. This is it. I have nothing else. You see, I just say go and yeah, connect Python 3 Google Compute Engine, backend initializing Python 3 Google Compute Engine. Yes, and now connected. We are connected and we have a solution. We have a solution in 0. Point something seconds. We have a new sequence, A, B, A, A, B, D. And if you analyze the sequence, yes, correct. In less than a second, just giving you a one sentence, code in Python. But what about QN, Coda 32B? What about this beautiful Coda? You know what? We do now a comparison with the Meta Llama model. You know, so absolutely the same, but now I don't say Python because on the left side, I, okay, yeah, I have to go to a coder, no? Yeah, okay. Code Llama 34 billion instruct and QN 2.5 coda 32B. So a 34 billion to a 32 billion free trainable parameter model. And I don't specify coded in Python. I just give it a task. And code Llama goes off and is done with uh, nothing. Complete failure, code Llama 34B. QN 2.5 Coda 32B instruct is thinking, yeah. We are still here in the human language, as you can see, summary of button presses, and it found a solution. It found a solution in 10 steps. So, okay, solution in 10 steps is a solution in 10 steps, but we want to optimize this, no? 
So you know what's gonna happen next, no? I say now write a Python code for this task. I give exact the same instruction to both models, and Code Llama writes um, Code Llama writes um, <laughs> Code Llama builds a website. Okay, we look at the right side, QN 2.5 code 32 be beautiful, yes! Look, it's done! Python code is generated with an explanation, prime check, button function, PFS implementation, drag floor, path exploration, and determination when a ridge floor 30 and we return the path taken. This code will output the shortest sequence of button press to ridge floor 30, considering all rules and constraints, and QN 2.5 coder found a solution. We don't even need the causal reasoning capability of QWQ. Our little QN 2.5 coder did it. Let's copy and you know what's gonna happen next. Yes, just gonna put it there and say run. Connecting to the engine, initializing Python 3. And now, ladies and gentlemen, connecting and done. Shortest path to reach floor 30. Six, just six steps, A, B, A, A, B, D. And if we analyze it, yes, successful, we reached it. This is it, we have a solution. So also the pure coding LLM, QN 2.5 Coder 32B finds a solution. You just have to add one sentence, analyze the system, and then write a Python code and show me the code. If now QN could automatically execute the Python code, my goodness, would be almost the perfect system. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. This was about, this is a second video to my QWQ. If you do not need tools, you do not need to build your MCP server to connect to Python server, to MCP Python server or whatsoever. You just need in the prompt to add one sentence. Show me the Python code. And you got a solution to this extreme logic test. Enjoy it. I put the logic test in the description of this video so you can try it out with your models. And if you enjoyed it, hey, why not subscribe and you will see more of those videos. Imagine.